Whitey Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's Anime Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Black Clover Season 1, Episode 21, titled Capital Riot. So, the uh, beginning of this episode starts off with the adaptation of Chapter 24 of the manga, so without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, Studio Peria, I gotta tell you right now. For the love of God, stop with this shit about the Wizard King at the fucking start of every episode. I'm getting sick of it. You're wasting fucking time with this. This is so stupid. Am I the only one that's sick of this shit? My God. Like... You could be having some... Like, I'm hoping at one point, especially we, when we get to um, a certain part of the manga, you talk about that shit instead of the Wizard King. Like, I'm... Ugh. I gotta say, the animation is so beautiful of the background. And I like the choice of um, cinematography where it's going from the uh, wide shot of the scenery and then does the close-up of the face. Um, because in the manga, it just has uh, the panel for the, hey, don't you think this is wrong? It just has the full, it just has the wide shot um, from behind. I really like the choice of cinematography uh, so far, Studio Periot. This is nice. Okay, we got to talk about the zombie here. All right, the detail in the zombie. <sighs> it's okay. It could have been done a lot. Better, because if you look at page six of chapter twenty-four, there's a lot more um, cracks in the face, um, especially on uh, the left side that's uh, that are missing. The right side of the face, the cracks are almost there. It's just like the top part by the forehead that there's cracks missing, like right here. But like on the cheek, it's done really nicely. Um, but yeah, there's the forehead, there's there's cracks like right here that are completely missing. Um, and then, yeah, the center, I would say there and the forehead, there's some cracks missing. And I would say, and I think that's mainly, it, and the shape of the head, I would say, is a little off. It's just, a, it's not long enough. I know it'd be, the Adam's apple is almost non-existent. <laughs> I know I'm being really picky here, but this is supposed to be a manga to anime adaptation. So I expect the the uh, art to match. <laughs> I really do. I want it to match because it's supposed to be the manga brought to life. And if other, anim if other anime can do that, I don't see why you can't do it, Studio Periot. Seriously. So then after the opening song, we jump back to uh, chapter 23 page uh 15 and i love asta defending his waifu i am telling you black clover manga i or the black clover series in general if asta does not end up with noelle i swear to god i'm gonna be so mad really you're gonna skip this dialogue okay so i figured that's this is what was skipped i figured that since they were called out here that they'd be real all be really amazing the dirtiest of them all uh, of them all is speaking does that fool uh still not understand his place uh but they're all um uh oh fuck I, let me go back a page shit uh but they're all the same So at about the 3 minute 51 second mark, we finish up uh, chapter 23 and go back to where we left off in chapter 24, which is page 7. And for the most part, it looks really nice. I'm, you know, Studio Periot, I'm really hoping, I am really hoping that Studio Periot does not fuck up Tokyo Ghoul Re. I am praying to the anime gods that... Studio Periot doesn't fuck up Tokyo Glory like it did with Root A. Please! Studio Periot, just please, you are actually giving us a decent Black Clover anime. 
Like, come on, please. Just do not fuck up Tokyo Gori. Damn, Leopold looks good. And so does, uh, Fujillion. Damn, Leopold looks good. Oh, I love Leopold. Charlotte and Soul look good, too. Man. Let me just double check the design. Yeah, Char for the most part, Charlotte looks good. Soul looks fantastic. Charlotte, I'm kind of iffy on design-wise, especially the chest area. <laughs> um, it kind of makes her... The way they drew the ch her uh, breasts, it kind of makes Charlotte look like she has saggy tits. So I'm kind of, like, iffy on uh, Char Charlotte's design. <laughs> When we see Charlotte in full, Charlotte's full body, like, maybe it'll ch maybe change my mind. But right now, she looks like she has saggy tits. Okay, something that's bothering me is that they're not showing the, um, the Hydra's wrap and the uh, Strangling Mist attacks at the same time. Why? They're doing it one at a time, which, okay, I understand you want to show it off, but... In the manga, it shows them attacking at the same time and Ash is just destroying them at the same time. That really bothers me. Come on, Studio Periot. Something I gotta say, though, besides the attack, you know, Asta just negating the attacks, looking hella cool. Asta's voice acting. It sounds so much better. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm the only one noticing this, but Asta doesn't sound as annoying as he did at the beginning of the series my god maybe he's just getting he got the feedback or whatnot uh that his voice just was sounding terrible but my god asta thank you asta's voice actor for just adjusting it it you sound so much better oh my god okay we gotta talk about that sand binds Sandman's uh, restraint. That, I'm reading the manga dialogue with the manga name for it. Because fuck it. That sand binds Sandman's restraint. Oh my god, it looks so fucking cool animated. This is what I love about watching manga to anime adaptations. Is because I like some of this stuff I just want to see animated. And this is one of these things. It looks so cool. Oh my god, it looks so cool. <laughs> Was skipped uh but if that's the extent of his attack range then there's nothing to fear um skipped oh we're gonna see more magic attacks now i'm so excited i gotta say i really am liking the um uh, the tension from this music too god damn black clover you uh, I'm, I'm glad i didn't skip this week's episode of black clover last week i had to because unfortunately my internet um uh, my internet decided to be out, of, and uh, it was not just my uh, internet, it was my entire complex's internet decided to be out, and by the time it came back on, I was just like, oh, it's not even worth it we're <laughs> doing Black Clover live reaction, so yeah, I, I'm really glad I'm doing Black Clover reaction this week, oh my god, it's totally worth it. Okay, I have a problem with the name. Why are you calling it a holy water bullet? It's supposed to be a planet buster bullet. That just sounds stupid. That's holy water bullet. But it looks so fucking cool anyway. Oh, hold on a second. Fucking thing. What the fuck, anime? Why didn't we get the cool shot of Asta with the double swords? Like in the manga, on page, like on page 14 in the uh, middle panel, like you see Asta when this is when uh, we have the buy the street rat line. You have Asta just standing there looking like a badass with his double swords. We didn't get that. What the fuck, anime? Oh, oh that's one thing I hate about this anime is that it doesn't give us like a, a, some of the badass shots of Asta that we get in the manga. We are denied by this anime and it pisses me off so much dude when nozel is just walking up to them to walking up to solid and asta he is oh my god he's just walking up to them like a badass like a boss and oh you feel it you see it like with the with the uh, color palette Woo! anime you are capturing this shit Woo -hoo -hoo! i love it i fucking 
freaking love it. We get no shot of Yami. That's not fair. Oh my god, I love Leopold so much. He's just adorable. <laughs> He's so mean. He's so fucking adorable. Oh my god. I forgot how adorable Leopold is. Because he's not in the. Because uh, we're not seeing him right now in the uh, current arc of the manga as much as we're seeing Luck. Because Luck is. Luck, okay, Luck is just fucking adorable. Because Luck Leopold so cute. I like the family tree! Yay! Anime! You did something right! We get a visual family tree that is really, really cool. I gotta say, you know what? Studio Perio, I really love this extra filler that you're giving us right now! <laughs> Especially between Leopold and Asta! And Sol and Charlotte! It's just amazing! It is so amazing! And I really love the family tree! That family tree was really a nice touch because we don't, at this point in the manga, we didn't know too much about the royal family. So I really got to give you props, Studio Periot. This is a nice touch. But God, I really love the, I think the Leopold, the Leopold Asta dialogue is just amazing. And Leopold, you are such a pervert. This part was uh, skipped, though. I'm sorry, leader. Uh, call me captain. I'm sorry. Uh, was skipped? I don't understand why that was skipped when you did all this filler, Studio Perio. That was stupid. Oh, the auras of the eagle versus the lion. Oh, my God. That looks so fucking cool. Studio Perio. Woo! That looks awesome. Ooh, I am. Ooh looks amazing and again i don't mind this extra filler i don't because it, it actually builds it actually makes the scene even cooler expands the scene so i don't mind it at all so now we're going into chapter uh 25 of the manga we're on the king the kingdom is under attack and i really oh i love seeing it from here at the 12 minute two second mark it looks so cool God, it's evil laugh. This this voice actor is really freaking good. And I just realized it's the this, this same motherfucker that rated the black that rated uh the black balls HQ later in the manga. I just realized that. Oh my god! First of all, this fucking soundtrack this week. Woo! This soundtrack is really good. Oh, I love it. And also, zombies! Zombies are fucking overrated, but when it comes to necromancy, however, necromancy is a little bit different. Necromancy zombies are fucking awesome compared to, like, um, like a zombie virus. Because necromancy, like, at least with a zombie virus, zombie virus, there's actually a cure. Necromancy zo zombies, woo! Necromancy zombies are, uh, Holy different story. But necromancy zombies? Oh, you gotta either find, like, the magic to... You gotta find the spell to uh, counteract it. Or, you like, you don't know if the magic's strong enough, even if you kill the uh, sorcerer behind it. If there's gonna, like, be around forever. It, it's... Necromancy zombies are a completely different story. Like, necromancy zombies are fucking... They, like, it ranges. For necromancy zombies compared to like like zom uh, zombies from uh like uh zombie virus zombies like that's why that's why i think zo in general zo um zombies are completely overrated like the zombies you see in video games and shit but when it comes to necromancy zombies woo, necromancy zombies are a completely different story i gotta say this the, the zombies are not animated very well they're not. They are not animated very well. Because, like, in the manga, the anim the details in the zombies' faces are just so fucking amazing. The line work is just awesome. But I think what happened in the anime is because they're taking advantage of the lighting being so dark that they, they were just, like, 
studio parent, the studio parent's like, oh, we don't need to do that much line work. We can be lazy in the line work. That's what I think is going on here. And that makes me really sad because, like, and also there's no sound coming out of them, which I, I would love to hear some groaning going on from, an, or moaning coming from the zombies. But I'm asking too much of Studio Periot. <laughs> oh my god, the necromancy! Oh my god! The, the necromancy, the zombie summonings. Woo! It looks so fucking cool! Oh my god, I'm glad they went with the purple instead of the red. I gotta say, between... Um, Black Clover and Yomushi Petal, I would say, I would still say Yomushi Petal is doing the evil aura a lot better. I'm telling you, if you've not seen Yomushi Petal, especially this season of Yomushi Petal, you need to watch it, especially for, um, in particular, Mitatsuji. Because Mitatsuji is doing a, a the anime is doing a great job with evil aura in regards to that motherfucker. Mitatsuji's a fucked up character. God. I know it's weird that a, an anime about cycling is just capturing, like, the evilness of a character so well. But it is. But anyway, um, it's, but, regards to this, the necromancy magic, the darkness, the evil aura of this necromancy that's going on. It's just being captured so perfectly. I am so proud of you, Studio Periot, that you're capturing this so well. And if we get far enough in Tokyo Ghoul Re, when we get to Barada, I expect this from you. I expect, actually, I expect even more from you when we get to Farada in Tokyo Ghoul Re. I gotta say, I love seeing how the zombies are rising. That's really cool. I it just, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The boulder form, uh, I'm gonna read the manga version of it. The boulder form, uh, the world is an open book. Oh my god, it is so beautiful. Because this is what a live look at the castle, uh, the, the capital looks like. It is so beautiful. My god. I love that Asta's just like, I'm gonna go, they're like, Asta's like, I'm just gonna go where the loudest noise is. And, Le and Leopold's like, I'm just gonna, and Leopold's like, I'm going with him. I like where Asta's going, I like uh, Asta's idea, I'm just gonna go with him. <laughs> I fucking love Leopold so much. He's, a, he's just so cute. And I know if luck was there, luck would have been, luck, luck would have been just like, dude, I'm down with this shit. Luck would have just went with them. <laughs> I know luck would have went with Asta. But the difference between luck and, um, well, if luck would have went and luck, luck would have been there, luck's like, I can just sense mana anyway. But the thing is, this Leopold can sense mana, so I don't understand what, what the big problem is. I fucking love that Charmy! Like the whole time, Charmy was just under the table, just munching! Charmy's just there, just munching on food! Look at Charmy! Oh my god, Charmy! Charmy's like, this is my time to shine! And then she smells the heavenly scent! And she's like, she's like, hold up a sec! There's something that smells good! I gotta fuel up before I go out! Fucking Charmy, man! <laughs> Something that I forgot to mention that I really like is that, you know, uh, Sol keeps calling Charlotte sis, and, you know, Charlotte has to keep reminding her to call her captain. I like that. That's gonna be de That's a running joke. That's definitely gonna be a, a running joke in the anime, and I really like that we got that going on. So something that I like, and I just double-checked Chapter 26 to make sure I'm right, is that um, we're seeing the uh, the teams uh, arrive on the scene in the other districts um, because in chapter twenty six or sorry yeah in chapter twenty six um, we get to see like them after the they start fighting the um, zombies after a while so I really like this nice this uh, this nice touch uh, that Studio Periot is giving us before we get to the end of um, chapter 25 so this is a nice i'm really liking the direction that the anime is going in this week 
And I really love the guitar here, too. Woo! The guitar where, you know, he's asking uh, the little girl about if uh, he lo if uh, she loves the Clover Kingdom. Fucking love this guitar. It's bass as fuck. Like, so, like, for the majority of this episode, we've had this orchestral music going on. And then at the end of this episode, right at the e near the end of this episode, we get this bass guitar. I fucking love it. So, the episode ends at about the end of chapter 25 which was a good spot to end at so overall this episode was really really good content wise i really like the um the filler that was put in here was filler that actually works like I don't like filler episodes I when it's all filler, when the majority of the episode is filler. It's just completely inappropriate. But when it's filler that actually expands the content of the episode and expands the universe, like the fit royal family tree, a little bit of the banter between uh, uh, with uh, Leopold and Asta, which was really funny, um, a little bit of the banter between Charlotte and Soul, which was awesome. I really enjoy it, and I like, and also with uh, the teams arriving to the di different districts of uh, the royal city to fight the zombies, that was really nice stuff. Um, the problems I had with this episode was mainly animation quality. Um, the uh, the animation problems was mainly with the zombies. The zombies did not look good, like. They, from like, and I think it had mainly to do with the lighting. Um, that's why I th feel like that because the, um, uh, the lighting was a little bit more darker that the animators felt like they could get away with doing less detail. So to me, instead of looking like clay zombies, kind of like golems looking zombies, they looked more like how uh, Titans would look in Attack on Titan, if that makes any sense. And it just really bothered me. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels this way, but yeah, that was the only thing that really bothered me. But man, the magic looked fantastic. The mana looked really nice. Um, the music, the score was utilized really nice. But I gotta say, Studio Periot, you gotta stop doing that shit with the introduction. It's really getting fucking annoying at this point. Um, I'm really, this is the direction I really want Black Clover to go in. Where we're adapting like two to three chapters a week. I mean, we have 52 episodes of Black Clover. This is where we need to be going. We have 140 something chapters. I would love to get, um, let's see, we're doing two to three chapters a week and we're at the, we're at about chapter 26. Man, I would love to at least get to, um, we're at least going to get to chapter 50, I could tell you that much. I would love, oh man, if we could get to chapter, I don't think we're going to get to chapter 80, but that would be nice. Um, if we could get to, I don't think we're going to get to chapter, if we could get at least to chapter 90, I, I got a feeling we are. Be, uh, we're going to get at least to Asta's transformation because of what was, because the, of Asta's transformation being hinted in the first episode. I got a feeling we're going to get to that transformation um, and uh, the Witch of the Black Forest. I just really, really Queen Witch, not Black Forest, Queen Witch of the Forest. I really got a feeling we're going to get to that episode. And that really gets me excited because if we're going to get there, that means we're going to get the really badass, uh, that means we're going to get to see Vengeance fight against the Diamond Kingdom. Oh my God, we have to at least get the war against the Diamond Kingdom because Vengeance is seen, Vengeance is fight, uh, power the, power the Drossel. Oh my god, I want to see that shit animated. That shit is amazing. Oh my god. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you guys think of this episode? I really, it, for the most part, I actually enjoyed this episode. It was really good. I just am disappointed with the animation of the zombies. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Sync. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. 
you can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off my Amazon wish list. That's all in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Um, oh, and also my GoFundMe. All that's in the, the description box below as well. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and friend me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.